So in this lecture, we're going to talk about how to use Excel's built-in statistics functions to calculate probabilities for a Poisson distribution. And I've got the, the actual formula that we use to do that here, the middle version with the lambdas and the t's. That's the one that I'd, I think is maybe most common in, in textbooks. But Excel kind of thinks of it using the right-hand formula. Remember that lambda times t is just the mean of the distribution. So Excel isn't going to ask you to enter two parameters when you could get away with one. Right? So to, do, to use these Excel formulas, you're going to need to enter two things. You're going to need to enter the value of the mean of the distribution, which you can always calculate if, if you know lambda and t. And you need to enter the value of x, the number of events that you're trying to find the probability of having that many occurring. So let's make this concrete here. Let's say we're looking for the probability of getting six events. And let's say the mean of our distribution is eight. All right, so here's the formula you're going to use. Equals Poisson dot D-I-S-T. Think, think of that as distribution. Right, you can see that over and over again in all of Excel's probability statistical probability functions. All right, now I'm going to do open parentheses. You notice it's going to ask me for two things. It's going to ask me for that x value. We picked 6. It's going to ask me for the mean. I said, well, let's let it be 8. And now you, you get to this cumulative parameter. Right? It's going to be either true or false. If you want the probability of getting a single number like we have here x equals 6 then you're going to say false All right so the probability of getting exactly six events whatever time frame we're looking at is 0.122 now let's, let's change this up a little let's say you want the probability x is less than or equal to 6 okay well you you may remember if you've been doing this in class uh, doing less than or equal to's are kind of unpleasant, right? Because what you would have to do here is you'd have to put 6 into the formula and then 5 and then 4 and then 3, 2, 1, and 0. Do all those calculations by hand, add them all up. Well, Excel will make this easy for you. I'm going to do equals Poisson distribution again, and I'm going to do the same. 6 for the x, 8 for the mean. Now... For this cumulative parameter, now I'm going to pick true. Right? Remember, cu cumulative means everything together. Right? So when you when you say yes, give me the cumulative result, Excel is going to add up everything from your x value, or right, six in this case, all the way down to zero. So I'll say true here, and you know, so we we get a bigger number. Right, and we, we can test this, right? Let, let's test this out real quick. I'm going to do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And I'm going to do my Poisson distribution. And these are my x values, right? And the mean is 8. And I'm going to say false now. I'm going to get the individual one. So this is the probability of getting 0 events. 1 event, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now... If I add all of these up, cross your fingers, this should come out to 0.313374. There you go. It works. All right. So Excel will do less than or equal to probabilities for no more effort than putting true in for that cumulative prob uh, parameter rather than false. Now, with greater than probabilities, okay, Excel has no help for you um well it, it, it kind of does so let, let's say i wanted to do x is greater than six okay well excel doesn't have a function that will do this right but remember we can apply the complement rule here this is one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to six which we already calculated so this is 1 minus this number. And there you go. Right? That's the greater than probability. So to do, or so let, let, let's kind of summarize here. Right? To do an equal probability, you set the cumulative parameter equal to uh, false. 
to do less than or equal, you set the cumulative parameter equal to true. And to do greater than, you use the complement rule. right? So you're, you're actually going to use that cumulative equals true to get the less than or equal. Uh, and then you'll use the uh, subtract that from 1. That's the complement rule. And that will give you your greater than probability. So those are the three cases, right? The three different kind of probabilities uh, you can be asked to do. Right? And that's how we would do them using Excel's built-in distribution function.